Hi, this is Delta Kamran, and today I'll present my project, which is about fault simulation and analysis of a Sigre benchmark HVDC system using a software called PSCAD. So this is how it will it will go. I'll first explain the background, and then the literature review, and then I'll go through all the modeling and components, and then in the end I'll show the results and tell you the conclusion of the results. So first of all, let me give you a, a quick background and what's the motivation behind this project. So as, as you know that HVDC has been adopted increasingly in recent years for long range power transmissions to distant lands or for offshore wind systems or wind farms. So designing and simulating HVDC systems need an extensive simulation software to accurately model and simulate the system. As HVDC has less power loss, high stability and controllability, so it makes it ideal for long range power transmission. So in this, in this project, HVDC system is modeled on PSCAD using a, a SIGRE, which stands for Council International de Grange Reservoir Electriques. It's a French term and it's a benchmark model for HVDC. So PSCAD has been used to model single phase and three phase grounding faults. Then the simulated waveforms are compared with theoretical results of normal operation. And then the analysis of these faults provides a baseline for studying the accuracy of operation and control of HVDC systems. So after reviewing uh, many papers, these three stood out and they helped me a lot. So the first one that provided a detailed modeling and simulation of HVDC system using different simulators. And then the second one studied and analyzed different HVDC system faults on PSCAD. And the last paper that I've highlighted here, it shows it showed the importance of HVDC systems and also provided a motivation for this project. So first of all, um, this is the HVDC system model on PSCAD. So it was uh, I got it from uh, an example file on PSCAD. So it the SIGRI model is uh, it is a benchmark model. It's available on PSCAD. So this model contains two AC systems, two DC converter stations, a DC transmission line, converter transformers. So it is a monopolar HVDC system having 12 pulses, 500 kV DC line with a rated current of 2 kilo amps, making a capacity of 1000 megawatts. And this is all shown in this figure. So let me go through all the components first. So the first one is the rectify model. Rectify model consists of the constant current control technique, CCC. So the current limits uh, reference is taken from the inverter side. This ensures that the protection of converters when the inverter does not have enough load. So the DC voltage at the inverter side gives a reference current and the DC at the rectifier side is measured by transducers. Then the error signal is generated and it goes through the PI controller. And then there's a firing circuit which generates equidistant pulses for the valves. The figure is shown on your right. So then there's the inverter model and you can see it in the figures on your right. So uh, it consists of two things. And so the gamma angle and current are controlled on the inverter side and voltage dependent, voltage dependent current order limiter VDCOL and the current constant, constant current technique CCC. These both have been implemented through PI controllers. And then reference is set by comparing an external reference and the VDCOL output. Then the measured current output is subtracted from the reference to generate an error signal which passes through a controller and makes the gamma angle order for the inverter. So the next up is the AC systems which are on both sides uh, on, on the rectifier and on the inverter size and the model is shown on your right. So I've shown both of the figures. So uh, it consists of um, some of some filters which absorb harmonics made by converters and also provide reactive power for the converter. So this AC network is represented by a Thevenin equivalent voltage with equivalent source impedance and it's all shown in the figures. So now I'll 
uh, tell you about the results and uh, the waveform analysis or the fault analysis. So this is the figure for normal operation of, of uh, HPDC system. So the simulation is carried out with a simulation time set as one second. And the inverter DC and rectifier current is shown on the graph during normal operation. So after the transient condition, the current waveform becomes stable at around 0.25 seconds, which you can see in the figures. There's a slight mismatch during the transient state, but otherwise it exactly matches in the steady state. So this all confirms that there is no fault as the current entering the HVDC line comes out the same after the converter stage. So now we'll introduce a single phase grounding fault in compared with the, with the normal operation. So the simulated waveform of current when a single phase grounding fault occurs at AC bus on inverter side. So as you can see in the figure, the fault occurred at 0.3 seconds and then disappeared 50 milliseconds later. The model accurately reflects that the current abruptly rose to almost 2.5 PU after the fault occurred and then the fault was removed after 50 milliseconds. As the current gradually attenuated from peak value and oscillated, but then it was stabilized at after one at around one PU after 0.5 seconds. Then when the fault was cut off, the DC voltage of inverter station decreases and the DC also increases rapidly. So there's, you can see uh, some uh, vibrations. Then uh, due to equivalent inductance of long lines and the smoothing reactors at both ends of the lines, the current declines from the peak value and the reactive power consumption of the rectifier decreases. So the next up is a three phase grounding fault and you can see the figure on your right. It shows a three phase grounding fault. So a simulated waveform of current when the three phase grounding fault occurs at AC bus on the rectifier side. So uh, as same situation as before, the fault occurred at 0.3 second and then disappeared 50 milliseconds later. As you can see the current reduces to zero due to a DC voltage being very low. The controller of the rectifier station increases the output of trigger and delays the angle alpha to restrict the impact current in the recovery process. With the recovery of the AC, AC voltage of the rectifier station, the direct voltage starts to rise and the rectifier station recovers current control and then reduces the output of trigger delay, which is the angle alpha. After the fault is cleared, the DC on the rectifier side and inverter side abruptly drops to zero, as you can see in the figure, and then maintains under one PU with slight oscillations. And uh, it remains there for, for 0.5 seconds. But then after, as you can see in the figure, the oscillations are slightly decreasing. And in the end, it will return to a steady state, which is a straight line at one PU. So uh, what, you, I, what I conclude from from this project and this simulation is that three phase grounding faults and single phase ground faults and also many other faults can be easily simulated for a SIGRI benchmark HVDC system using this software PSCAD. And uh, it shows that PSCAD is effective in modeling and simulating faults in a very complex system. And when compared to no fault conditions, the dynamic characteristics are accurately portrayed for faulty conditions. The transient and changes in each parameter are, can be displayed in real time and system performance can be analyzed visually. So it's a good software for, for implementing different faults on a complex system. So that's the end of my presentation and thank you for, for listening and for your time.